cat's cradle here. This is why I can't get any housework done. I, I hit on a topic and then I have to go research it for the next two hours and that's kind of what I've been doing here. I got this flyer from Save-A-Lot. I don't know if you have Save-A-Lot stores where you are, but occasionally they run a good a good deal on something like they've got shank portion hams for $1.19 that would be good for canning. But I noticed down here, and here's what piqued my curiosity. This is, let me move my mouth here. This is an ad for Domino Sugar for $1.99 for a four pound bag. Not too bad a deal. But as I got to looking at the fine print, it says, hold on, so fine I can't really see it, hold on, premium pure cane granulated sugar. So I got to thinking, I mean, I know there's a little bit of a difference between cane sugar and beet sugar. Not much, though. I mean, it's still sugar. It's, I mean, it's not that great for us. We all should be using less of it. Uh, I haven't got to a point in my life where we don't use a little of it every now and then. I made a cake yesterday. That's a rare, a rare occurrence, but occasionally I use a little sugar. So I'm like, I wonder if there's really that big a difference. And so as I did the research, uh, one of the things I noted was that uh, some of the researchers say that beet sugar is a dirtier sugar than cane sugar because there's just no way to get every little bit of dirt out of the sugar beets when they process them. So that was interesting. Um, but there is a difference, and the research is hard to find, and I searched several sites. In fact, one of the things I did was I went to Domino's own site, and I left them a message saying, and it was pertaining to this exact sugar right here. I talked about the sugar in the four-pound bag, the granulated sugar, and I sent them a message saying, is your cane sugar granulated sugar genetically modified. So I haven't heard back from them, so I'll be waiting on that, and I'll let you know when I get the answer. But I researched a lot of different sites, and I came to this one, which is called Nom Nom, and they sell palm sugar. That's, I mean, that's their business. That's what they do. So uh, they have a bunch of articles on sugar there, and I went to this one that said genetically modified sugar cane coming soon to a store near you. And I couldn't find a date on this article, but it doesn't matter because there's dates listed in the article. And it was this article was published in Science Magazine. And so I want to read you just a little bit about, about what it says because it's interesting. And uh, what I find fascinating is these people are, are trying to sell palm sugar, but they're not really particularly trashing the other sugars. They're just giving you some information here. But they say um, that beet sugar has been genetically modified for a long time. And when they started trying to market uh, genetically modified sugar cane sugar, that there was a big outcry and that it was very unsuccessful. And they kind of dropped trying to, to modify it. And the research shows that it's, it was very easy to genetically modify the beet, but they're having a lot of trouble with the sugar cane. And so it says here, uh, experiment has been underway with GM sugar beets and sugar cane for more than a decade. While sugar cane has a complex genetic makeup that makes genetic modification difficult, work with GM sugar beets is simpler and has advanced much further. And then it talks down here, I'm going to skip down, it says, as for GM sugar cane, Monsanto expects to have a Roundup Ready BT variety on the market by 2015. And there are other big biotech companies with sugar cane in their sites. So that's interesting. I think they're already growing some BT sugar cane in Brazil, but it appears not in this country. So what you're looking at here, this sugar may not be genetically modified. And I use that term loosely, it may not be genetically modified. So I may pick up a little bit of this for food stores just in hope that it's not because you know that the regular sugar cane you're buying that's made from beets, it is for certain. So anyway, just a little heads up on that. Uh, you might want to do some research too. It's kind of fascinating as you read about about these sugars and how they're processed. Um, anyway, hope that gives you at least some food for thought. I'm going to go 
get a little bit of this cane sugar to put in my storage. Be a good thing to have. Cat's Cradle.